This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another informational Valheim video. Today we're talking about sundials. Let's get to it. So as you all know, I'm on Reddit all the time and one of the things that pops up on there every now and then is people who have created sundials and they post pictures of them and I find sundials in this game to be absolutely fascinating. So today we're going to talk about them and we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to make one and to space your numbers and all or your number markers and all of that good stuff. Okay, so normally with sundials, you'd have to like, you got to be a little bit specific with certain things and all this different stuff in order to get things just right because the earth rotates on an axis, it shifts, all that. Well, in this game, it's a game. So none of that happens. Our earth is flat and our sun and moon just go like this every time. Dump, 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 dump every time. Because of this, you get a shadow even at nighttime, which will work on your sundial so you can see your clock at nighttime and because of it you only need half a sundial you don't you don't need a full thing we can just make a little half thing like you see right here the other thing to keep in mind is that the larger you get the more accurate you're going to get so if you take a look at this one here we have our little marker it's right now it's between uh the one and the two or sorry the two and the three and, uh, you, you, know, you know, you got a general idea of what time it is, you know, not too, too accurate. Then if we come over here to this one, uh, so our one is right here. This would be two, three, four, five, six, and so on. So you can see right here, we are on the three. But if we come over here, you can see it's way more accurate because it's like it's not quite there yet so i'm going to show you how to set this up this way and do this with your markers and make it as large as you want to make it and it's relatively simple so in order to do this you need to have your camera facing towards the top of the map so if you look up there at our mini map you can see we have our arrow it shows where our camera is pointing and not our person so you want to make sure that you have it facing as north as possible now what we're going to do here is we're just going to grab a uh, beam pillar whatever and we are going to make sure we're facing north as much as possible and then we're gonna place it down okay so now we have our hand this is our our hand here we can see you can just guesstimate if you want you can just place one of these down out in the middle of the field and take a look at it every now and then and guess about what time it is now another thing to keep in mind when you're doing this you want a nice big open area away from as many trees as possible ideally you're like your best spot for this would be somewhere in the plains where you don't have a lot of trees um, I'm in an absolute craptastic spot as you see over there I had to clear out a bunch of trees but we still lose like the first two hours of the morning we don't we can't see anything but anyway once you have this down now what you're going to do is you're going to grab your wood beam and we're going to place one like that and then we're going to place one like that and then we're going to come here like this and we're going to place two now what we're going to do is we're going to delete this one and we're going to place a little half one now this is when we're going to start to put in our markers so to do this all we have to do right now we're lined up with that one we want to connect it and rotate it one. Connect it, rotate it one, all the way around like that. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. So we can start from the outside if we want. However you want to go about doing it, just rotate it one every time. So now we have something like this. Now what we need to do is we need to take this out a little bit further. And from this point on, you can make it as big as you want to make it. It's, it's up to you how big you want to go with this thing. I'm just going to make a, a little simple one here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make that my number markers. And then we're going to come over here. We're going to do the same thing. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all of the middle and I'm going to leave this one here. And I'm going to leave it longer as well. I, I could shorten it, but I want it to be longer to denote that that is my noon. So, like I said, your last marker is technically right here. So, if you wanted to, you could do something like this. And then, there you go. That That's your sundial. But I want to make something like what we have over here. So what I'm going to do is just instead remove those and then put another two meter out like that. So now what we can do is we can grab our beams like this and we can just kind of bring it in, rotate them in one, 
come around, rotate them in one until we get to the top up here. And we can do something like that. Or if you wanted to come all the way around like we did here and have a smooth rounding, you can see here with this one, I just put a little uh, one meter beam at the end. So however you wanna go about doing it, the important thing to keep in mind is how I showed you how to do this because that gets you your proper spacing. If we come out here, and, and to, to this bigger one, I, I did the same thing here. We can actually like bring all of these in and they will tie into the same spot, which will eventually, if we come in here and rebuild backwards, you can see how I did it here. So I just continue to build out further and further from that initial setup. And then you can also use whatever you want at this point, you don't even need to have that there. Once you know where the middle is, you can actually stand there and use yourself as the, the, the hand for your clock. You can use the old school looking where you take one of these and place it like that. I don't like these as much though because I feel like it's not quite as accurate because if we take a look and we, we put down this, you can see the accuracy changes a little bit. This uh, is, when you do this, is a bit more on par with this here. Now, we did change where it was, so we can we can also take it and move it out from there and put it like right here and then remove those. And you can see it, it changed a little bit there, but I feel like it's still just not quite as accurate. So there you can see the difference between the two. So right there is the corner of that of our wall and right there is the corner of our pillar or the the edge of our pillar so i feel like the the pillar is much more accurate or the beam whatever uh is much more accurate but you can use you can even use one of those the core woods if you want whatever however you want to go about doing it now i know some of you are going to want to know how i made the super small one here so i'm going to show you how to do that i save that for the end if you're not interested in that that's the only other thing that we're going to cover in this video so yeah so anyway to to do this one all i did is i made sure that i was facing in the proper direction so we're going to make sure we're facing like that and then we're just going to use the the little one meters here like that and then we're gonna build out from this one here so we can delete this now now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go like this until we get to the side there and then we're gonna do the same thing on this side i think we got a storm brewing let's see if we can skip that there like that and then we're gonna come back in and we're just gonna line up with all of those all we have to do is grab another little one meter beam here, one one meter, one yeah, one meter beam, and you're gonna place it down like so, and then we're gonna place another one, and then what we're gonna do is we are going to grab the one meter pole, place it like that, go back to the beam. You can delete all this. What we're gonna do, we're gonna place it out like that, so it's directly to the side of it, rotate it in one, then rotate it out one but don't place it because if you place it now you'll see the, like it's it's in ever so slightly so what you want to do is go to the outside of it make sure you're facing that side like we are there and then hit shift but you want it to to pop up just like that see how it just pops up so you got to mess with it a little bit you ideally want to look at the back you want to look at right there the back side of that so that it just pops out. So we're just gonna look at the back and then see when, if it does that, that's wrong, that's not what you want. Move over just a little bit and then it should just pop forward like that. When you do that, then they're lined up. So then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So rotate it one, look at the back and just get it to, oh, I messed up there, let's try again. Get it to just pop out just a little bit like that. Now what we can do is we can come in here and we can delete all of this because now these are going to line up perfectly. So if we place them like that, place it like that, you can see we have no overlap. So now this snaps dead center. And if we do something like grab a two meter and we snap it to the middle, you can see it lines up perfectly 
with this beam here. So we got it all nice and lined up. Everything is looking good. Now, if you want to, what you can do is you can remove these and we can put our two meters in there just to clean it up and make it look a little nicer. So you get something that looks like that. And that's how you can make a super, super small one if you if you don't care about accuracy, you just want a good idea of what time it is uh, without looking at the sun, uh, you can just do that super easy. Okay, uh, that's pretty much it for this one. Hopefully you found it informational and helpful. If you did, consider hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload other cool stuff like this. All right, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. Y'all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my elite crew Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.